What's going on, Paranormal World? Starting October off with some paranormal discussions. Sit back, relax, and tune in. Bobby Mackey's Music World, the first official episode of the legendary paranormal show Ghost Adventures, which in my opinion, this was a win-win situation for both entities. It was great promotion and exposure for the business of Bobby Mackey's Music World, and also it legitimized the Ghost Adventures franchise to lure paranormal fans in like myself. With that being said, in 2008, the Ghost Adventures crew, Zach, Nick, and Aaron traveled to Wilder, Kentucky to investigate one of the most historical hunted places in the southern east coast, Bobby Mackey's Music World. Although Bobby Mackey is the famous one and the owner of this juke joint, I personally think that Carl Lawson is the one who created this whole lore on why this place is so haunted. It seems like he legitimized it. And you know what? Bobby Mackey is sitting on a gold mine. The story they have at this place for a multi-million dollar theatrical movie is perfect. Just imagine a Bobby Mackey's Music World movie with Carl Lawson being the main character and his experiences living in this place and working at this place. Capturing his possession. I mean, Hollywood definitely needs to give Bobby a call. And I'm pretty sure they have, but, you know, Bobby might be a little hesitant because he might want to own all the rights to it and everything like that. And we know how Hollywood can get. It can get messy. But anyway... Who will be down for Bobby Mackey's Music World movie? Leave a like down in the comment section below and also comment on what you would want to see out of a Bobby Mackey's Music World movie. But yeah, Carl Lawson, he was one of the ones who pretty much experienced everything at this place. And Bobby Mackey, he just, it just seems like he's a historian but he doesn't even believe in the paranormal. He doesn't believe that the place is haunted or whatever. So... I don't know. I don't know whether he's doing that to save his business, but in a way, if you go along with it, that probably would make a profit for your business. You know, people love the paranormal. A lot of people love to come out and hey, you get touched by a ghost. Maybe you can be drinking with a ghost. Who knows? But anyway, during this episode of Ghost Adventures, the crew took it seriously. And that's rare because if you watch these newer episodes of Ghost Adventures, Everything just seems to be more of um, comedic elements. And throughout this episode, you hear that creepy music that Bobby Mackey is known for. And they're playing this throughout the episode, and that music just creeps me out. I don't know about y'all, but that music, just imagine being alone in that building and that music starts playing. <laughs> I will freak out. But anyway, I wouldn't even be caught close to Wilder, Kentucky, but that's another story. Anyway... Zach Bagans goes through the backstory about this honky tonk club and before it was a club it was a slaughterhouse and a lot of things happened and also a murder happened um murder suicides everything happened but apparently a decapitated head was dropped down a well at this place presumed to be a sacrifice but you know that's lore and rumors and all of that I don't think they actually confirmed that so it's just hearsay but a lot of people do believe it, especially in Wilder, Kentucky. But Bobby Mackey's wife, Janet Mackey, she was pushed while pregnant and she repeatedly heard disembodied voices say, get out, yelling, get out always. So um, it's a lot of stuff that happened at this place. But Carl Lawson during this episode was showing Zach around and Zach is saying, hey, um, I'm going to taunt these entities. I don't like these entities. Even Nick Groff was begging these spirits to do harm to him. So anyway, as Zach is walking around, you know, they're marking all the hot spots and they're putting the X tape down, you know, for these specific spots. And I miss when Ghost Adventures used to bring out the tape and put the X. You know, they need to bring that back, man. It's just so many things that Ghost Adventures need to go back to just to spice the show up, man. But anyway, um, the first X was placed in the kitchen because they say a lot of activity happens there. And also the well. The well is where the decapitated head happened, um, the devil worshiping. So it's a lot of stuff there that placed the X there. And also in the basement, they placed the X there. So while they were walking around in the basement, they noticed something on the floor. And it was the head of Jesus. So this little ornament thing or whatever fell over and the head was, you know, off of it. So, 
could that correlate with that well and that decapitated head being dropped down? Who knows? But, you know, I thought that was a little strange and creepy. But just for perspective, the lockdown begins and it's raining outside and the doors are literally chained up. And that's a perfect storm for paranormal activity. But nonetheless, one minute into the lockdown, you got Zach Bagans taunting these spirits, calling them cowards and, you know, show yourself, you know, I want to see your power and all of that. And in a way, I understand why Zach is so angry, because these spirits at this place have been harming innocent people, pushing a pregnant woman down the stairs. I mean, that's that's just out of control. I mean, these evil spirits are wreaking havoc on this place. So during this lockdown, Zach Bagans was fighting fire with fire. Like I said, I understand it. But shortly after taunting these ghosts, the energy picks up around this place. And Nick Groff notices that the energy specifically where they were at, you know, his hair on his arm was standing up. And a couple of things that happened not too long after that, you know, they start to hear voices. And then at one point, Nick Groff tried to run and we all get that famous saying, stop running, <laughs> you know, from Zach Bagans. So um, about five minutes later, Zach Bagans says hey man my back feels you know kind of funny or whatever and he's freaking out or whatever so they lift up his shirt and they took forever to try to lift up his shirt but, but anyway once they lifted up it was three marks and it was you know like someone clawed him or scratched him or whatever like that and it was burning um which you know we all know what those three lines symbolizes so um yeah man this was a legendary episode it was great for our first episode of Ghost Adventures. And this is what brought me to be a Ghost Adventures fan. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. And I just love the history surrounding Bobby Mackey's music world. That place is demolished, I think, or in the process of being demolished. I did a video on that, but I don't think they actually tore it down when they supposed to. But, um, yeah, man, uh... Bobby Mackey's Music World. They definitely need to make a movie on that. Um, with this being the first episode of Ghost Adventures and going into the first season of Ghost Adventures, I think this was a solid episode and probably my best episode, my, my favorite episode of Ghost Adventures. So comment down below. What do you remember most about this episode? Was this the episode that actually got you involved in Ghost Adventures? And also, if you love any and everything paranormal related, anything ghost adventure related, or even horror movie related, then make sure you check out my channel, check out my previous content. If you like it, then make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see every time I upload. As always, be safe. Peace.